Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk about Kale Lowry a little bit more. I just recorded a video about Kale, and now we got another one coming. So, Kale Lowry, she just started filming back for Teen Mom. She went on a three month break. She took that break after finding out that Teen Mom, the producers, had signed a contract with Chris Lopez, her baby daddy, and that they didn't tell her about it. So, she really just kind of expected them to show a little bit of loyalty if they're bringing him on. Like, she can understand why they're bringing him on, but at least let her know so she's not like blindsided by it and also she got ticked off when she found out that chris and brianna met up in philly to film the podcast and that mtv production was there to film and that nobody told her about that as well so she took this little hiatus she took a break to where she quit filming for a while but she's come back she's come back and already she's having to call the producers out again and this time for editing clips of her scenes to uh, to make it more dramatic and also kind of paint her in a negative light so i'm gonna show you guys a clip i don't want to play football you need to be there because you committed to it i'm gonna tell you guys kind of explain what happened so in this clip uh, it's a promo for an upcoming episode. We see Kale Lowry. She is in her car. She's driving her kids. And Lux, who is four years old, he says, I don't want to play football anymore. Now, Kale, which is what every mom would do, kind of try to talk them into, you know, continuing it. She says, you need to be there because you committed to it. And I, I'm that way too. And my husband, even more so. Like, if you sign on for a team, you are part of that team. You have committed to the team, the other players, that you are part of that team. You can't just quit. You know, so I think she did the right thing by saying like, I don't know, you need to be there. You've committed to it. So you need to go. Now, the scene that followed that one is the one that upset Kale. So the next scene we see they're at the field and it shows little Lux, who's four years old. It shows him running off the field and into Kale's arms. Kale is sitting on the sidelines. We hear what appears to be a kid crying. And Kale says that MTV added that. And it's obvious they did because that kid don't even sound like Lux. That, that kid sounds like a toddler crying and not Lux crying. Like it sounds like someone younger than him crying. So as he's running off the field to his mom, Kale's all happy and smiling. And they add this audio to make it sound like he's crying. Like he's having a miserable time and he don't want to be there. So he's running to her crying which is so cringy that they would do that because what what could have happened if it was actually believable and if Kale didn't speak out to say this is fake, then all these moms would jump on there and be like, oh my God, I can't believe you're making him play. Clearly he's so miserable because he's crying. He don't want to even be on the field. He ran off the field crying and you had this big smile on your face. Like, why would you pull him off the team? This is so terrible. He's just a kid. He's just... So she could have got a lot of backlash for this, but for the most, I think people were actually seeing uh what actually happened and they're seeing that mtv added the clip now kale she was not pleased and she retweeted this clip and she said now y'all know that cry slash scream was not lux take that sh out i don't blame her i would say the same thing um some fans on social media they are agreeing with kale one person wrote it sounds like a smaller child you could tell it's not lux but i feel you shady mtv editing Another person wrote, MTV be doing you so dirty, which I agree they do. And this is not the first time that I've heard of them doing things like that. Like I've heard of them taking clips where someone will say something. It'll be like something serious and their partner should have responded like in a serious way, but they'll take like one little clip of their partner just saying, yeah, or okay. And then it makes them seem like insensitive to what the other person said. So they do this a lot from my understanding. I've talked to a few people and they're like, yeah, they do this. Like they will add edits in or voiceovers in when like your back is turned or if it's when you're kind of far out just so you can't see that the person is not saying that they'll add it to make it more dramatic but really what happens is a lot of times it'll paint it'll paint them in a negative light and then they get backlash they have people on social media attacking them because of something that mtv did and it's not even something they did or said so i don't blame kale honestly i would talk about it on my podcast she used to do youtube videos i would do a youtube video calling out mtv for it i would be like stop doing that like i understand you gotta feel my life i understand the show is tanking it is sinking the ratings are in the toilet but do not try to boost the ratings by dramatizing my scenes like by adding crap to it like kale has drama going on in her life for the most part when she'll film about it like she's got the issues going on with b right 
they're filming about that. Like, why add that little cry in there to make it more dramatic and to make it appear like she's forcing Lux to play a sports that he no longer wants to play and that she's, like, laughing about it, you know? I don't know. I'd be ticked off if I was her, too. And you guys, let me your thoughts in the comment section below. I've heard of instances like this, and I wish I could remember of the specific situations that I was told about because I was told about, like, three different situations like two or three yeah uh where this had happened but i just can't remember them off the top of my head but it was stuff like this where they added stuff in that shouldn't have been there to make the other people look bad you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up i'm happy to see that kale's calling out the producers um that's another thing too i was about to end this video but let me say this really quick that's another thing too is a lot of times the cast members they're not going to call out production they're just going to kind of let it go because they don't want to get in trouble. They don't want to risk, you know, getting fined, getting fired or something like that. So when this happens, they just take the backlash and they don't rat MTV out. So I'm glad to see that Kale has enough backbone that she's like, oh, heck no, I'm going to call you out. And I'm going to, I'm going to call you out in front of everyone. Everyone will know that MTV, which a little shady butts, added that in there. So if they would have done it to, you know, someone else, nine times out of ten, they wouldn't have said anything and they just would have took the backlash that they got on social media. But yeah, you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.